So as a tenant yourself, you think that the um, bedroom tax will be the one that will cause the most issues? That and, this, and the cuts in benefits. I mean, now they're talking, there's a classic example now, the 90-day redundancy notice is going to be cut to 45 days. And there's also a rumour they want to start taxing people on the redundancy pay. Now, people are out of work. You can't say they're all scrounges and deadbeats. I, mean, I know plenty of people are trying to get back into work. And most of the jobs that are offered are part-time. I mean, you've got ta working tax credits when you work 16 hours a week or more. That has now been increased to 24 hours. Most companies are not giving 24 hours on the part-time jobs. So they're going to work for a pittance, losing the working tax credit, and then when they say, oh, well, you're working now, so you've got to contribute to your rent and your council tax. So on LHC tenants, the impact it's going to have, it's going to be, um, it's going to be really, really heavy because, you know, I don't want my benefit given to me when this uh, universal credit next, um, I think it's October or September, I, I don't want that given to me in my hands because I can manage my money now because I've had to, because I'm a single mum and I've got to economise everything, speaking on everybody's, you know, be off. How are they expected to, to give us the money in our hands to go, oh yeah, there's, there's the rent. Pensioners, pensioners are going to lose disability benefits. They already have started losing disability benefits, which in turn cuts their entitlement to pension credits, which in turn leaves them in poverty. Yes, they get £200 for fuel a year, but it will be long before this government job, job start as well. I'm scared for, the, for people my age in the 50s um, who maybe have lost partners living on their own and that their, their family home. They will be subjected to the new uh, bedroom tax reforms, housing benefit reforms. What have other, other tenants been saying to you was reference to them? Well, obviously, uh, they're very concerned. The bedroom tax is one of the biggest concerns for them because they, they feel that they may be pressurised into giving up a home where they've lived all their life and their memories are. And uh, why should somebody, in my opinion, suddenly be forced to move where they know all the neighbours, their relatives are around them, and they feel safe and comfortable? Because There's a lot of tenants in, in my area which have been focused on, on you know, obviously the, the isolated. The, um, some people have learning difficulties, some people obviously are single mums, some people are working, some people are paying part benefit. There's a lot of issues that that tenants and the public in the area are actually worried about. I think that most people, unfortunately, a lot of people bury their head in the sands. They just think it'll all go away and all blow over and it won't affect them. And this, this, all these cuts are affecting everybody. It, it's just going to be so overwhelming. Mm -hmm. right? Every section of society is going to be affected by this. Mm -hmm. You are going to have staff at housing associations the frontline staff, the ones that are on the phones, the ones that are on the reception, they're going to be terrified. Mm. Can you tell us a bit more about your role as a tenant champion? Well, we were asked, uh, LHT asked tenants to become involved as tenant champions to let other tenants know uh, what the welfare cuts and benefits were going to, you know, what was going to happen to them, how it would affect the tenants themselves, like i.e. the bedroom tax, cut it at 1%, what they, what they say is an increase in benefits when actually everybody knows it's, it's, it's actually cutting the benefit, you know, but they're, they're taking it to a 1% increase, which everybody knows is, is just absolute nonsense. So what we basically do, if, if you've got people who are frightened to approach authority. There's a lot of people don't like going to, to speaking to officials. They feel, you know, they might be intimidated or they may be uh, picked on if they have any criticisms. So what we do is, I'm, I'm quite happy to go out to any tenant in my neighbourhood who asks me to, or they can welcome to knock on my door. Well, what I've been doing, to be honest with you, um, is I've been given a bulk of leaflets 
and a sheet of paper to record where I'm going and how I'm going to pass the word through. I can't actually give them the advice because obviously I'm not qualified. The only thing that I can do is give them the leaflet and ask the tenant through, through words of mouth, friends and family to contact the LHG. There's actually numbers on the leaflet which explain which office to contact, who to contact and, you know, obviously the issues that they need to talk about are actually on the leaflet. So how will tenants get in touch with you, get in touch with uh, John Peel? Well, they, they can uh, they get in touch with me through uh, the housing officer or the housing officer, but basically I'm well known in the neighbourhood because I've lived there all my life. Um, initially we provided um, a copy of a newsletter that we sent out to all tenants, tenants um, called Money Wise, which we've provided them with four copies of. Um, initially it was all information and then we've broken it down into small amounts of information. Um, we've also sent out letters to tenants who, based on the information we hold, are going to be affected by the initial change of the bedroom tax, um, basically telling them how it's going to affect them and asking them to get in touch with us. And then more recently in June of this year, um, LHT employed myself and my colleague and we have been um, co-calling tenants to speak to them about the changes and provide them with direct information based on their own circumstances. So, what actual information did you receive from the LHT um, regarding these reforms? Just basically the um, the leaflets and the, the actual um, store that I went to on an open day. The two Helens sent out a letter to everybody and there's one thing about it, you can ring them up, but you can also, I, I find I can speak to anybody. So you found, in, that, you found that information useful? Yes, in, yeah. the LHT, I will say, they, they've led a campaign on this and we all join them. What information have you received from the LHT regarding these welfare reforms? Sadly, as much as they have, um, I've had leaflets, I have spoken to staff. I'm fortunate that I'm interested. I have spoken to um, other residents who have said, oh, I can't be bothered with all this. People the same age as me on their own in two, three bedroom properties. Oh, it's got no do with me. But they don't benefit, it's got a lot to do with them. So, LHT, um, are doing as much as they can. However, there's questions that I've asked and they're unable to answer because there's no what ifs with the government. It's just this. So getting back to the um, the information that the LHT provided, um, was it informative? Was it concise and easy to understand? No, no, I didn't find it easy to understand. You know, that's why I've become a welfare champion. So I can try and understand it a bit better. But not everybody wants to be a welfare champion, do they? They, wanna, they just want to know what's going on. At the moment, the support is quite limited, only because we're trying to find out and identify what kind of support tenants will need, because it's such a wide range of support. So there's things like budgeting skills, help with online claims, benefit advice, and then there's things like helping to work. How do tenants access the, uh, the support, or how do you plan on... Um giving them uh, access to the support which is available? At the moment, like I say, we've, we've not finalised those details. Um, we, will, we will have to look at whether we have to involve other agencies with providing some support, maybe for people who need um, help claiming additional benefits or checking that they're getting full benefits, we will pass them on um, to the advice service that we work with. Some of the other advice will probably be provided in-house, but we have to work out, um, as a business, who's going to provide the information. What do you think LHT are doing or could do to um, support their tenants during that? Well, I think, obviously, if they want people to downsize and looking for three-bedroom houses, they would have to start building new affordable two and one bedroom homes. There's not that much that the welfare reform office can, can do, you know, obviously they're just answering the questions that people are alien to, they're not sure. Um, I think there should be more, even if it's a website that 
can give like a direct go questions and answers just to say you know I've got this question and I need to know the answer straight because it's okay even saying that we're there to help and to give the answers but but I'm, I'm concerned that they may get into the hands of road money lenders just to make ends meet and once they're down that road because we work closely with the credit union in our district is to get people to get if they need a loan to go to a credit union where it's fixed and their money's safe and it's only two percent interest charges and if they do get into difficulty they can go in and, and tell them and with this universal credit coming in that's another nightmare for people so what the credit unions are trying to do is get people to have their rent paid into there and then the credit union will pay the rent for them because people you know you've got to have a roof over your head and it's so easy temptation you give somebody a month's money in the hand and they've got to, if they are in debt to a loan shark, they're going to get pay him first off the back, and suddenly there'll be a rental raised before they know it. And I, I dread to think that, that in the 21st century we're going to have people back on the streets again. What initiatives will LHT be rolling out over the next 12 months to support their tenants? Um, I wish I could tell you that information. I'm not clear on that at the moment. At the moment, we do, uh, we're hoping to have contacted as many tenants as we possibly can before Christmas and now we're, we're a week before Christmas so the likelihood is that we'll obviously look at getting further discussions going in January to discuss what the support package is going to look like.